Welcome to a Song of Ice and Fire Symposium. My name is Nav. And I'm Harmit. And this is A Game of Thrones, Episode 1. In this episode, we talk about everything except the books themselves. Welcome to the podcast, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. We are very excited to be starting this. Tell them how excited you are. Yay! I'm so excited. That sounded really unconvincing, but did not mean it that way. (laughs) To me, it sounds like this is the worst thing you could possibly be doing with your time right now. But tell them how much you (laughs) love me and how much you love doing this and how much you love this series despite knowing nothing about it. I I know nothing about it. I feel like I I feel like I'm not entitled to an opinion yet because I know nothing. That is a very smart stance to have. Okay, uh, I have notes, but they are a mess. So we're just gonna wing this first episode. Let's go, everybody. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do uh, it. We only get one go at this because after this episode, you will be spoiled on some things. So this is as pure as it's gonna get. All right, so why don't you give us a quick synopsis of what you know about A Song of Ice and Fire or Game of Thrones? Okay, I think the biggest things I know are those names. I know that the first book of the five book series that is called A Song of Ice and Fire. So the first book is called You just found that out three minutes ago. (laughs) Yes, because yes. you thought and the, I think that yeah. a song of ice and fire was the name of the first book. Yes, which just goes to show you how unspoiled I am. I think half of the things that I know Nav has actually spoiled for me. So thanks. For yeah, that. but I, I we um, never thought that we would be doing this. Um, also, <laughs> you had the book in your possession, and you still didn't know which one was the title of the book. You okay? You know what she did when she gave me the book. She put sticky notes everywhere to prevent me from reading essentially everything. So I just didn't look at it because I was afraid to spoil myself. Uh, Now you just need to do that for seven years. Perfect. If we do this once a week, it's supposed to be 6.597 years if we do it once every week. Yes, love that. So yeah, you got to stay like that for seven years. (laughs) Um, Hopefully we won't get bored and like stop doing this. (laughs) But yeah. yeah, what else do you know? Okay, so first of all, the things that Nav has spoiled for me. So I saw Okay, the tab. don't put it like that. <laughs> I'm just I'm just categorizing them. I remember last time we were calling and there was a tab that said Iron Throne Ceremony. So I know that that exists. I have okay, no you know idea what? what that is. It didn't actually say ceremony. Did I just assume ceremony? Yep. Wow. Okay, well, I spoiled myself for that one word. What does Iron Throne mean to you? The book is called The Game of Thrones. Yes, so Iron Throne, it's it's one of the thrones. It's throne to me means royalty. It could be like one of the families that are like royal. Okay, so there's a family throne? Yes, there's a family um, going off of all the dystopian, dystopian stereotypes here. There's a family, they're bored. They start a Game of Thrones. But how do you know this is a dystopian series? It, it's not. It, I, don't, I don't know if it is. That's just... I'm just going off of the first assumption in my head. I'm, I'm predicting that it's a dystopian series. That's my prediction. I don't know that. Okay. Um, I have no basis for that because I know nothing other than the word throne, which shows up a lot. Um, ice and fire, you know those. Yes, yes, ice and fire, two elements. Oh, wait, no, ice is not an element. Um, well, water is. Yeah, a form of an element and then another yeah. element. They don't seem very compatible, you know, those two things. So yeah, they don't. That's, do a little, they? that's a little suspicious. Okay, why don't you tell us what else you know? You know about some of the music? Mm-hmm. What else do you know? I know that Sophie Turner plays a redhead yes that's all i know i know that she is in the show do you know if the show is live action or animation or some other form i'm assuming of- it's live action but i don't know okay. that all right do you know any other names or places or any quotes from the books? nope i know nothing the last thing that i know is that 
I have heard from one person who spoke about it as though it was a common belief that the, apparently the, the TV series went downhill after season five or six or something like that after someone goes to an island. That's all I know. Okay. Do you know how many seasons there are in the show? No, but I know that it's over now. Yeah, it, it, it's a thing. Uh, <laughs> maybe you should be a little more enthusiastic. Well, if... Yeah, okay, moving on. <laughs> Do you know what genre this series is? I don't know. You guess dystopian something? Dystopian horror? Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like the idea of that. Anything else to add? I think we've covered the main points, but is there anything else somebody should know? I know that there's a knife on the cover of the book. Other than that, I know. Oh no, that's a sword. That's not. <laughs> I a was knife. just gonna say <laughs> your idea of a knife is um quite extreme. <laughs> no, that's definitely that's definitely not a knife. Okay, so as you know, there are five books. Uh, there are yes. in total three hundred forty-four chapters in the published five books. By the way. The series has not been completed. Oh, the book series? Yeah. So the show's finished, but the book hasn't finished. Yes. The books have not finished. Yet the books are the original. Yes. So the series isn't based off of the whole book series. It can't be. It can't be. The show is, in many ways, its own thing. Okay. I don't, I feel like I don't like that, but I don't know yet. Well, George R. R. Martin, um, he began writing the first, se- first book in 1991. Okay. It was published in 1996. Okay. And the last book, the fifth book, was published in 2011. Okay. So it's been nine years since the last book came out, and there's, we still don't have the sixth book. So is the sixth book supposed to be the last, or...? This series was supposed to be, I think, a trilogy. Okay. Then it turned into five books. Then it turned into seven books. And now there's talks of it being nine books. How much? How do you just... And these books are long. Like, how do you just keep going? Um, the thing is, I don't, I'm not sure if Martin is still going because the last book <laughs> was published almost a decade ago. Was it published in a way that, like, it could be the last book, or is does there definitely need to be a next one? Um, the story is not complete. I'll say that. Okay. But yeah, um, so it's still ongoing. Hopefully, my hope is that by the time we finish going through this whole process, the next book will be out, and then we can dive right into it. That is the hoping okay. against hope, because most people have given up hope. <laughs> okay. What do you hope to learn, to find? What do you hope for in this series? I hope to understand the hype. This, so people are still, like, this isn't a, oh, he stopped writing, okay, whatever, I don't care anymore. Like, people still act, are actively obsessed with I think this the series, show you know? contributed, because like a- the show came out in 2011, so... I'm not saying that the series on its own doesn't merit excitement, but I'm saying that the show picked up right where the last book left off, kind of, like, in terms terms of, like, publication and new content out there. So the show definitely revived it. I found this series and this community through the show. In fact, I just realized I should tell people what I know and what I don't know. So Harmouth here Mm -hmm. knows nothing, as you can tell. (laughs) <laughs> I came to the series through the show. I binge-watched all of it a couple years ago. I wasn't in on it from the beginning. I can't say I was, but, you know, I was interested. So I came to the series through the TV show, but I haven't actually read the books either. I have, however, listened to every podcast out there. I have read all the chapter summaries. I have watched theory videos. I have read other little novellas. So you've never read any of the books? Um, I started the first one, but it was honestly for me, if I'm spoiled on something, it's really hard for me to be interested enough to keep reading. It's just really hard. So part of the reason why I'm doing this is as motivation to push me to read the actual series. 
but I am spoiled on everything. I'm sure there's like some tiny details that nobody ever covered in their coverage of the series, but on the big plot points and like a lot of the minor things even, I am spoiled. Uh, but I haven't read the books themselves, so I'm interested to see what Martin's like style of writing and everything is like. I started the first book and I got to like chapter two and <laughs> at that point I gave very up. very far. It is really not, yeah. uh, which is why we're doing this. We are committing, okay? So what we're going to be doing is reading the entire book series one chapter at a time. Next episode is going to be the prologue. And then we're going to read a few chapters. And at some point, we're going to look through the appendix. I personally found it very helpful reading the appendix. It really helps clear some things. That's everything I have. Do you have anything to add? I don't think so. I'm just, I'm excited. Are you now? <laughs> oh no, my I don't know why I'm being weird like this. So thank you to anybody who was listening. Tune in next time for when we read the prologue. I mean, we'll have read it, but we'll talk about it. That's everything I have for today. Thanks for listening. Farewell, my friends. Talk to you later.